Hey guys, good evening. This is Alejandro Narbona on behalf of Iglesias Corporativo. Thank you very much for being on time. What's up, Beatriz, Aldo, and uh, Sara? Thank you, thank you. All right, so we are getting JC as well. And we're going to start. Guys, it's a pleasure to have you here. As you know, per the new regulations, I'm going to have to take attendance right now. All right? So, turkey face, keep your cameras on. So, I'm going to start. Ana Maria Magoquín Rivera. Not present. Andrea del Carmen Martinez Aragón. <laughs> no. Ah, okay, not present. Javier Rodrigo Ayala Córdoba. Not present. Daniel Edgardo Canizales Ventura. Oh my God, not present. Gladys Idalia Meléndez Hernández. Not present. Aldo Sadi Castro Pleites. Present. Okay, there you go. Thank you very much. Eric Arnaldo Celada Ayala. Not here. Ernesto Antonio Castillo Campos. Not here. Amy Melissa Rosa Palacios. Not here. Daniel Edgardo Canizales Ventura. Present. Uh -huh, okay, thank you very much. Let's just double checking. Michelle. David Orlando Nerio. David Orlando Nerio, not present. Roxana Metile, ah, no. Marcela Beatriz López Pira. Present. Thank you. Roxana Dometilia Ríos de Quiñones. Not here. Juan Carlos García Laínez. Present. Thank you very much. Beatriz Adriana Martínez Marino. Present. I see you. Thank you. Abner Alexis Martínez Rivas. Not present. Morena Guadalupe Melara Cruz. Me. I am here. <laughs> okay, right on time. Alison <laughs> Isabel Ayala Alfaro. Present. Thank you. Celia Carmina Pineda Avalos. Not present yet. Karen Aileen Garcia Benitez. Present. Thank you. And uh, last but not least, Sara Elizabeth Ruiz Ortiz. Present. All right. Thank you very much. So, guys, thank you. As you know, exactly at 8 p.m., I have to be taking attendance. I'm going to do this at 8, 9, and 9.45. Teacher. What's up? Me, Amy. Ah, <laughs> ah, Amy, let me see. I'm sorry. No worries. Amy Melissa Rosa Palacios. Present. Oh, okay. Thank you. Me, teacher. <laughs> Gladys. <laughs> sorry. Gladys Adalia Valendez Hernandez. Present. <laughs> okay. Very good. So thank you very much for being on time, guys. Question, what was yesterday's topic? Real quick. Article A was the, the difference between the and A. Uh. Okay. Exactly. So today we're going to complement it with a little bit of zero article, which is something that we already talked about. So um, I need a volunteer. Don't even ask. Okay, thank you very much. I like the spirit. Would you be able so kind to explain when to use the article A and N? We can use the article A and N mm -hmm. with singular countable nouns. Uh, that's all. Yeah. Okay. Yes, you have a, you have a part of it. What are we missing? We already have singular countable noun. Use with vowel sounds and. Aha, uh -huh, we use and with vowel sounds. What about a or a? Uh, with uh, consonant sounds. Correct, and we are missing something very important, guys. Yes, it, it is with singular. With a, with a in a general situation. It has to be in a general situation. That's right. Excellent. So you see, guys, teamwork. Now, when do we use the article D? With singular and plural countable 
and, and specific uh-huh. okay exactly we can use it for something specific that's good it can be singular plural or uncountable for everything and what about no article when do we use it when there are uncountable things mm -hmm. in our general uh-huh yes and we are missing one uncountable general uncountable with general plural countable or uncountable nouns correct the plural is the one that we are missing so guys we were actually working with this uh, yesterday now this is actually time for you to share if you have any questions of, on this we are going to continue practicing no worries about it but let me know if you have a question Hmm, excellent. Um, I have a question. Go ahead. With the no article, uh, we made an example and it was mm -hmm. fruits <clears throat> are healthy. Correct. But if fruit is with S or without the S? With but S. we're talking about plural, with S. With S, okay. correct. Okay, thanks. Very good. So in order for us to be able to uh, work with this today, at the end, I definitely need a presentation. Definitely, no questions asked. So today in these two classes, we're gonna have to be able to differentiate the uses of the articles, because that this is what they are, articles. It's gonna be um, A and the and no article, okay? So um, you better ask a lot of questions so I can help you out a lot during this conversation. Now, <clears throat> second I'm gonna share this with you if you see me a little bit accelerated it's because I want to get over with the grammar so you can have a lot of time to practice let's go ahead and, and recap guys indefinite article well definite article a indefinite article a give me examples please remember it can be at the beginning at the end in the middle doesn't matter the, uh, the position and the in uh, the sentence it doesn't matter with a. I am eating an apple. Okay, very good. I love that one. It is like very basic one, but yes, it works. Um, eating an apple. All right. What about in negative in simple present? Mm hmm. I'm not eating. Uh huh. An apple. Yes, but let's go ahead and forget about the apple. We cannot repeat. I'm not eating the an orange. Uh huh. All right. Mm. Now, what about will? Mm. Examples with will. I will eat a chicken. Okay. Let's get chicken out of the table. No more eat. Okay. I will have a dog. Nice. I will have a dog. A Excellent. Dog. Present perfect. Have mm -hmm. plus verb in past participle. Past participle. I know. Hey guys, but this is this was actually a, and we are using an. We're gonna have time for this. <laughs> so I'm just double checking because. Okay. Here goes here. Mm -hmm. mm. I have I have had an invitation no oh, but that's the way the second one. Okay, no more. I have had an invitation to what? To For the your wedding? Let me help okay. you. Very good. Guys, um, question. Is it difficult for you to create exercises? 
-hmm. or examples before we continue, because otherwise this is not going to work. A little. A little. Why? Is it mm -hmm. difficult for you to translate? Is it difficult for you to think in English? You have no vocabulary? Why? Lack of imagination? Yes. Mm. <laughs> totally that. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. Difficult not using Spanish in English. Whoa, 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 what was that? To me, it's difficult not uh, using the Spanish in English. Trying to make the correct sentence. Mm -hmm. Okay. It is. At the beginning, guys, it is okay for you to translate because obviously you need to understand. So that's fine. No problem whatsoever. But now what we can actually do is um, just let it go. Don't think in English. Don't think in Spanish, my apologies. Just make sure that you try to come up with something. Use whatever is around you to provide examples. Now, what I have here is a pencil. All right, ask me about any, any type of grammar tense. Teacher, what color that, is? that's my question. Uh, let's say that this rules applies for any tense, for any grammar Everything. tense. Mm -hmm. okay. That's why I'm asking you to create, for example, in present, in present um, negative, will, going to, modal <laughs> verbs, because these articles, guys, are complements of all the English, like in Spanish, mm -hmm. right? So that's why I'm trying to push you a little bit and to demand a little bit from you. So I need a volunteer. Mm, me, Marcela. Okay, Marcela, give me an example of uh, something you're going to do tomorrow using A. Okay. I will I will eat a donut. A donut. Nice. They are two for one. That's right. September. <laughs> Great. That's yes. it. That's it, Marcela. I hope. That's all you got to do. I need another volunteer. Bea, thank you, with both hands. Nice, I like your enthusiasm. Bea, tell me something you did yesterday and include the article A. Um, yesterday, I made a letter. I made a letter. Yes. Mm -hmm. Wrote, where are you girl? Oh, there you are. I wrote a letter. Bro, bro, bro. Excellent. Very yeah. good. Um, I need another volunteer real quick. I'm trying to prove a point here. That's why I'm asking for people. Hey, Eric. There, there you are. You look kind of hidden. Okay, Eric, tell me something you have been doing. Include the article A. Including the article A. Mm -hmm. Um, I've been running a mile. Okay, excellent. Simple as that. Another volunteer. Me, Amy. Okay, Amy, thank you very much. Um, tell me something you are doing right now using the article A. I'm taking an English class. Beautiful example with Anne. What about A? Oh, <laughs> sorry. No worries. Um, I don't know. I am... Um, Make it up. Doesn't matter. I am watching... I am seeing a TV. Okay. Well, you should be paying attention to the Running. class, not to the TV. <laughs> Okay, so guys, this is the point. Now listen, and uh, I, I want to do. I want to tell you like this, honestly. Todos ustedes me pudieron responder a preguntas orientadas. Okay, yo les pregunté qué hicieron ayer, qué vas a hacer mañana, qué has estado haciendo, 
¿qué estás haciendo ahorita? E inmediatamente ustedes me contestaron. ¿Okay? Eso significa que ustedes sí dominan el, el grammar tense, pero todavía el concepto los confunde. Porque cuando yo les dije con will, todo el mundo se quedó así, right? Pero les dije mañana e inmediatamente lo asociaron. O sea que sí lo saben usar. Lo que tienen que hacer es entender un poquito más que will es para futuro. Right? Que si decimos frases como ayer, hace dos días, es pasado. Okay? Que estado más, IN, más ing, he estado corriendo, comiendo, durmiendo, es eh, presente perfecto, continuo. I have been. So, se tiene que meter un poquito más al grammar y entenderlo pasándolo a lo normal. Eso nada más es práctica, pero sí tienen que hacerlo, ¿ok? Si no, nuevamente, si yo les pido un ejemplo, uh, give me something in, in using going to, no van a poder. Y la verdad que en la vida real no les va a pasar eso. Hey, ¿qué onda? ¿Cómo has estado? Contestame en going to. No, <ríe> eso no va a pasar en la vida real. Pero si quieren llegar a ese punto, que lo saquen así, es, que es necesario que ustedes entiendan cada uno de los grammar tenses, o por lo menos que sepan qué tipo de preguntas va con cada grammar tense. All right? Otherwise, it's going to be very, very, very difficult for you to do it. Now, let me go ahead and give it another try. Give me some examples with and whatever you want. And. Mm. She wants to be an engineer. There you go. She wants to be an engineer. Yeah. What else? Give me some more examples with Anne, please. She saw an elephant in the zoo. Okay, she saw an elephant in the zoo. Uh, zoo. Great. More, please. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to send this to you guys as, as far as the examples. He is an excellent teacher. Aha, uh -huh, extra points for you. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> I don't know if you're even talking talking about me, but you know, thanks. <laughs> He's an excellent teacher. Great. Now let's go ahead and use A because we have you know fewer examples here. Use any tense. Just tell me the first thing that comes to your mind. I'm going to buy a, a radio. Nice. I'm gonna buy a radio. Nobody uses radios anymore, but they are still helpful. No, my mother still uses a radio. Oh, my mother does too. Uh huh. Uh -huh. I want a cold soda. Aha! Uh -huh. I want a cold soda. I want something cold. It's not. It, it is yellow. I'm not gonna tell you what it is. Okay. So let's Orange. continue. <laughs> yellow. Mm -hmm. I'm, going, I'm going to take a cup of coffee. Nice. I'm going to. I'm going to take a cup of coffee. Going to to take. Yeah, that's fine. A cup of coffee. All right. So I think that this is clear, right? How to use it. Am I talking about a particular job here? Nope. Am I talking about a particular radio? No. no. Am I talking about a particular cold soda? No. No. A particular no. cup of coffee? No. no. A particular apple? No. Orange? No. 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 Invitation? Engineer? All of these, my friends, is general. No, 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 no. So let's go ahead and work with the article D. Okay? Here, we're going to be working with uh, singular things. For example, I bought the TV we saw last night. They wanna is back. So try to give me examples using the article D. How are you gonna do it? I want you to change these four sentences and try to make it from general to specific. I will have a job. Give me an example using the same context. Let me help you. I am I will... going to. Oh, go ahead. Mm -hmm. I will have the job that I uh, told you yesterday. Mm -hmm. I will have the job 
that I told you yesterday. Is this a particular job? Mm -hmm. Yes. 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 Paul. Yes. That's right. I'm gonna buy a radio. I'm Let's going make it... to. Mm -hmm. huh? Go ahead. I, no. How? I'm going to buy the radio that my mom wanted. Hmm. The radio that my mom wanted. Wanted. Excellent. Now let's go ahead and work with. I want a cold soda. Let's make it specific. Um, I want the cold soda that is in my refrigerator. Uh huh. What is another way of saying refrigerator, guys? Fridge. 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 Mm -hmm. That's right. Now, here, I want the cold soda in my fridge. That is, it's not necessarily, but yes, great example. And the last one, I'm going to take a cup of coffee. Mm -hmm. Come on, let's make it a specific. Use your imagination. What was the sentence? I'm sorry. I'm going to take a cup of coffee. Okay. I'm going to take a cup of coffee. Uh huh. That you like? Say it again. I'm going to drink a, to take a cup of coffee that you like. Ah. That sorry. Uh huh. The cup of coffee. That you like. You like. I said that is optional. No worries about it. So, my dear and beloved students, you can actually work with this and try to convert it. No, I am eating. No, no, manzana. No, solo una pera. Okay. Una pera o una manzana. Sorry, that... sorry. No, no, sorry. no, no, no. It's fine. It's fine. Let's go ahead and use it as an example. Is that general or a specific? Specific. Mm -mm. Because in Spanish, ajá, esto mm -hmm. es un trabajo, una red, una radio, una soda, una, 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 un, un, un. I, I like this example, you know. But let's continue. Mm -hmm. So he said. Traeme una pera o una manzana. That's general because he is not saying traeme la manzana que está en la mesa o traeme la pera no. que está en el freezer. Mm -hmm. Bueno, en el refri porque yeah. en el freezer se congela. Mm -hmm. right. So, you see, um, from a mistake, we were able to give an example. It, it would have been great or better if this, if this was in English, but, you know, it helped. Did you get my point? So you can tell the difference between something general and a specific? Yes. 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 Great. So how do you say you have uh, daughters, right, Daniel? What teacher? Excuse me. Excuse en vez de decir, me ajá, en vez de decir what, podemos decir excuse me. Mm -hmm. Y usted está aplicando a esta posición, ¿qué? <laughs> no, we're not going to use that, right? So, we got to try to, try to okay. figure it out. No worries, sir. Uh, who gave you the, 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 the apple or the pear? Who gave it to you? ¿Quién se la dio? Ah, uh, my wife. Ah, oh, okay, good. So, how do you say... Um, I thought it was going to be your daughter. I got to change the example. Give me a second. How do you say... <laughs> <laughs> um, la manzana porque vamos a poner lo, lo de la esposa ahí en contexto bonito ¿verdad? la okay. manzana que la es la manzana 
que la esposa de Daniel le dio estaba envenenada. The apple that Daniel's wife gave to him was poisoned. That Daniel's... Obviously, this is an example. I, I remember about... What is the... Um, Blanca Nieve is la que se coma. Yeah. The Daniel's wife gave him was poisoned. Mm -hmm. no, let, let, let's go ahead and change it. Sweet. Ah, sweet. <laughs> so you see, guys, we are making something in particular. Next one. I am not eating an orange. Let's make it specific. I'm not eating the orange um, that is expired. I don't know. I love that. I love that. Expired. Um, I'm not eating the guys. Um, expiration is only with things that are gonna, yes, that are gonna stop working. For example, your driver's license might be expired, mm -hmm. but with fruits, it might be rotten. Mm -hmm. Rotten. Mm -hmm. All right, let's go ahead and continue real quick. Um, I need more people giving examples, guys, please. I have had an invitation to the movies. You don't really need to get all of this, just the idea. Get something specific out of this, please. For example, teacher, I like the scary movie. Mm, let's go ahead and use that, Daniel. I liked, okay. I liked the scary movie okay so do you guys remember the the thing that i mentioned about context is this a good example mm. what is the difference between i like the scary movie and uh, i like the scary so movie we saw the context the context that's right here context has been mentioned already here context is being told at the moment right this is actually what i was talking about so yes it is a good example is this confusing to you? Because I had a lot of questions about this yesterday. Yeah, that is a little bit confused. Uh, mm -hmm. It's I a little bit we, confusing. We usually struggle, we usually struggle with those uh, contexts because we confuse, confuse them. Sometimes we, we think that we have uh, mentioned the, the activity before and sometimes we think that we mentioned the activity in the moment. Mm -hmm. That's why I guess, well, in my case, I confuse a little bit those uh, contexts. All right. How do we avoid this type of issue, guys? What a scenario can be good for? What what example can be good for any scenario? Now, what I have uh, a little bit more clear is that I know I know now I know that I have to mention something in the same uh, context but I have to be uh, specific in the second example. And mm -hmm. the other one, I know that I have to be said something before in order to the person understand me what, I, what I'm saying. Exactly. So if you wanna be on the safe side, guys, my recommendation will be for, for you to, while you are practicing this so you can get it more fluent, my recommendation is for you to use the second one, for you to always give context. And that way, you're going to avoid people having a poker face because they don't know what you're talking about. Okay, so always try to give us as much context as you can. Very good. So all of these guys are actually in singular or plural? Singular. Singular. 
Okay, so this is actually uh, D for singular. And what are the other uses that we can use the article D? In plural. General and countable. Ah, so we can actually use it in uh, plural and uncountable. Now, what I need you to help me with right now, because we are doing this together, you are creating these exercises. <coughs> with this context, let's try to get something out of it, either with plural or uncountable. Uh, for example, uh, the last yeah. night was raining. I saw the drops uh, falling in my ceiling. And you and your and your on your ceiling. On your ceiling. Y no se mojó usted. Digo. Um, yes, I did. <laughs> exactly. Remember, guys, that ceiling is this. This is the ceiling. Right? The roof. The roof, that's right. We see ah, the okay. <laughs> en el falso se mojó. Okay, so you see guys, that's when you make mistakes, you learn. Simple as that, laugh of your mistakes. Laugh of your mistakes. Keep it fun, interesting. So let me go ahead and give you an, an, an example. I will have the job that you told me, that I told you yesterday. Como le hago en plural? Los trabajos, no, no sé, pero trabajo, dos trabajos, si es contable, entonces no lo puedo ocupar. Uh, oh, quiero ver los trabajos ofrecidos sin contrato. Are fishy. And there you have an example. Los trabajos ofrecidos sin, sin contrato son sospechosos. So the point is this, guys. The job is singular. The jobs is going to be plural. And as you can see, the article D can be as part of the subject, as it is here, as part of the complement, as it is here. So it doesn't really matter. The position that you are going to use, and it doesn't really matter what type of grammar tense you're going to use. So with this example, guys, I'm going to buy the radio that my mom wanted. How can we say something plural or with uncountable nouns? Using at least one word of this sentence. Come on, let's make it plural. I know the silence is awkward, but you know, I'm gonna stay quiet until I have an example. Mm. I'm going to buy the radios. Okay, the radios. That my mom wanted. What happened? I guess it's the same. Yes, I like it. The radios that my mom wanted, she wanted more than one. Oh, for example, uh, I'm going to buy the radios that are offered in the Black Friday. Okay. The radios that my mom... So let's go ahead and adapt it to this one. I like the idea of Black Friday. So let's go ahead and adapt it to this one. The radios that my mom wanted... Are offered on the Black Friday. Are offered... Aha, uh -huh, ahí está. Are offered on Black Friday. Nice. So as you can see, you're gonna use, you are using the radios and you are specific because those are the ones that your mom wanted. Next one, I want the cold soda in my fridge. I want the cold soda in my fridge. Let's make it plural. The cold sodas. Cold sodas? Uh, in my fridge I for, are for my friends.
Okay, there you go. You can do this if you want, or you can just delete it. And I am using a possessive noun, guys, just in case. Are my friends. Nice. Now, what about, I'm going to drink the cup of coffee you like. Let's make it plural. And remember, you can actually, um, how can I explain this? Sometimes we overthink. And let me go ahead and do this. This is how easy it is or simple. How are you gonna make it um, plural? I'm going to drink the cups of coffee you like. So that means that there are more than one. That's it, guys. This is the only difference between one and the other. That one is plural and the other one is not. So let's go ahead and do it here. How can we make this plural? The apples. The apples that Daniel's wife gave him. Oh, but here we gotta change it. Careful with Where? this. Where's sweet? Okay. Next one. I am not eating the oranges that are rotten. That's right. Simple as that. And uh, let's go ahead and do this one. I know. Does get his moves. When we have a uh, noun like this, where is the S going? Oh, movies. Movies. Mm -hmm. movies. I think movies. It's movies. I like the scary movies. So, what is the message here? That I like all movies that are scary. Mm, almost there. Almost, almost. That, that you like all, all mm -hmm. scary movies like I don't know, they're like nine I think mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. we are missing one detail guys remember here that context has been mentioned already so if in the first one you like the movie that you saw what is the difference here what movies did you like the one that we saw yesterday the ones we saw. So let's pretend that now that Annabelle is uh, is gonna be on theaters, you watched Annabelle one on Netflix, for example, and right after you watched Annabelle two. Hey, me gustaron las las películas de miedo, las películas de miedo. ¿Cuáles las que vieron ayer? So this is a little bit different when we don't have the context. But what about this one? I like the scary movie. How can we make it plural? The scary movies we saw together. Now, if you know that you watched scary movies, you can just leave it like this. So, vieron las películas, al día siguiente le llama y le dice a la persona con la que está empezando a salir, hey, me gustaron las películas de miedo. ¿Cuáles? Las que vieron ayer. So, la persona ya tiene que saber para que les entienda. Si no, simplemente díganlo todo. Me gustaron las películas de, de miedo que vimos juntos. Okay. So, do you guys have any questions with this? Nice, I like mm -hmm. it. Dead silence. All right. So, let's move silence. to no article. When do we use no article, guys? Do you remember? With plural, plural uncountable nouns. General, uncountable, uncountable. No article. Mm -hmm. No article, you're going to be using it for plural, countable, or uncountable. Countable. How? And here's the thing.
How do you say no me gustan los gatos? I don't like cats. I don't like cats. ¿Y por qué no? I, I don't like the cats. Because you are talking about all the cats in general. Exactly, because I'm talking to all the cats in general. So general, plural, or uncountable. And this is actually one of the mistakes we make, guys, because in Spanish it is that way. No me gustan los gatos, no me gustan los perros, no me gustan los niños, no me gustan los metiches, no me gustan los bla, bla, bla. Pero ahí va el los, las. Y estamos hablando en general. In English, it doesn't really have it. So, this is when we use no articles. Um, how do you say... Give me an example with money. I have no money. <laughs> mm -hmm. Money is never enough. I need a enough. lot of money. Okay. I have Please no money. Never enough. Need money. Okay. <laughs> so... <laughs> so I have no money. Uh, I need a lot of money. We all need. I need a lot of money. Money is never enough. Uh, I think that Roxana said that. Do you guys believe that? That yeah. money is never enough? Yes, yes it's true. <laughs> guys, money is not everything. It's just 99.99 99 point of everything. <laughs> so here, my dear fellows, we are using... Um, it's but, not everything, but it helps. <laughs> yeah, it's not everything, but it helps. It's not. Okay. Right, guys. So this is pretty much here. We are using money and uncountable. Now, let's go back to this. Let's go ahead and, and no, I think it's, it's not time yet. You still need a little bit more practice. Give me some other. El azúcar, el azúcar es malo para la salud. Sugar is bad for your health. So it's going to be general, uncountable, right? Yeah. No vamos a poner the sugar. A menos que digan, the sugar that I make is incredible. I have a, you know, I have a place where blah, blah, blah. So I stop. How do you say, um, las plantas son necesarias? Plants are needed. Are needed or? Necessary. Necessary. Always with the period, guys. El inglés. Ooh. El inglés es requerido en muchas compañías. Uh, English is required in a lot of companies. In many English companies. is necessary for getting a good job. English is necessary. No más regaño. I'm doing my best. All right. So, guys, this is actually no article. And that's it. No necesitan artículo porque están hablando de algo general, de todas las cosas, no de nada en particular. O están hablando de algo incontable que no deja de ser general. El azúcar, el tiempo, eh, cualquier cosa, no le ponemos ese el que ocupamos en español por el simple hecho que no es específico como aquí o como acá y no lo podemos poner acá porque aquí solo podemos poner singulares eso es todo aquí solo van singulares aquí puede ir singular plural o incontable y aquí solo va plurales o incontables so let's go ahead and, and uh, do a little bit a little exercise here permítame I think that I'm sharing what I'm not supposed to share so far, do you have any questions, guys? So, which one is singular? What can we use with something singular? A and D. A and D. What can we use with plural? 
The or no the, article. The or no article. Very good. What can we use with uncountable? The and no article. A and then no the, article. Uh-huh. The and no article. So let's go ahead and convert a couple of things here. Guys, please give me a noun. Any noun, whatever comes to your mind. Uh, First. Ask chair. Which one? Cars. All right, cars. cars. Like that, exactly as you're saying it. Cars, just a moment. Okay. So, cars. Can we use it here? No. Why not? Because, because it's plural. 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 Can we use it here? No. 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 Because it's plural. It's can we use it? Yeah. Can we use it here? Yes. 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 Give me an example, yes. please. The cars are amazing. Hmm. The cars, uh, no. the cars that we saw in the car yeah. shop are amazing. There you go. Now let's go ahead and analyze the first example. The cars are amazing. Is that it's specific general. or is that general? General. general. Cars are amazing. Aha. So if we have it here, we're gonna go with cars are amazing. And if we have it here, the cars we saw are amazing correct now give me another noun please real quick whatever comes to your mind the first one that i hear milk milk right can we use it here nope Why? no because it's uncountable here no no here Yes. 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 Give me an example, yes. please. Milk is delicious. There you go. That's it. Milk is delicious. Now remember that you can use it also in the context, in the complement. I don't have any milk. I don't like milk. Right? And what about here? Yes, you can use yes. it. Mm -hmm. Yes. Example. Yes. I don't like the milk that you buy. Uh huh. Muy bien. I don't like the milk that the milk that you buy. Give me another one, please. Another noun or another? I love the milk. The milk with chocolate. The chocolate milk. Vaya. I don't know if I'm writing it correctly. Uh huh. Is that correct? Yes. I think that yeah. it's, it's I general, it. but yeah. we have With to. Chocolate. I think mm -hmm. that is general. Yeah. And mm. we have to. Get you need to specify the brand. Uh -huh. That's right. I love the chocolate milk. That you remember that is optional. You <laughs> I love that. I don't know why. You prepare. I stop. So in this case it's gonna be in this quadrant right here. Right? Yes. Correct. Now how do you say me gusta la leche con chocolate? I love chocolate milk. I love chocolate milk. And it goes right here. Why does it go here? Because you're talking about every type of chocolate milk. You're talking about something general. Now, this is exactly, thank you, Sarah, for the example. You know, that's what we are trying to fight. Now, now that we understand this, we understand this, and we know the difference between these two, now it's a matter for you to differentiate here and here. Because in Spanish, we say, me gusta la leche con chocolate. No decimos, me gusta leche con chocolate. Y eso es lo que hay que contrarrestar. Eso es lo que hay que atacar. 
saber, cuando estamos hablando de todas las cosas en el mundo que le gustan, me gusta la música, las pupusas. En música no estamos diciendo que toca a mi amigo, el reggaetón, el metal, la bachata, etc. Seamos específicos. One more, one more uh, noun, please. Cell phone. Okay. Like it is. We're not going to change anything of the noun. Can we use it here? Yes. Yes. Cell phones are great. Yeah, but I don't have cell phones. I have cell phones. Oh, okay, okay. Then no. <laughs> no, here? because over there is yeah. it's plural. Correct. That's right. Okay. And here? No. 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 Yes. Yes. Give, give me an example, please. The cell phone that you gave me is broken. Oh. I saved a long time for me to give you that cell phone, girl. Come on. Yes, great example. <laughs> That's right. Now, an example with this one. I want a cell phone. I want a cell phone. I need a cell phone. I lost my cell phone. No, 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 that no, I, no, that no. That's no. Not teacher. Ah, no, no, no. ah, I need a cell I lost my cell phone. That's right. No, okay. teacher. That's not. Now, remember that instead of D, are other things that you can use, but that's not today's topic. The last one. Uh, I'm talking about the one that heals, not the one that makes you happy, okay? <laughs> <laughs> can we use it here? Mm. No. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes, I'm going to. I buy an, an alcohol gel in the supermarket. I love this thing. Okay. Alcohol. Can you count alcohol? It's uncountable. No. 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 It's uncountable. no. The you bottle. can count the bottle. The bottle is yes. countable. Yes. Uh -huh. So can we use it here? No. No. Here? No. Here? No. Yes. 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 Give me an example. Yeah. The alcohol that I buy was, I don't know, <laughs> sorry. Don't be sorry. Okay, let's go ahead and use that as a base. The alcohol that I buy was, there are a couple of things that need was. to be fixed. The alcohol. Shipping. Was uh -huh. That's expensive. Expensive. Okay, so now let's analyze it and find the, the bad thing. The okay. alcohol that I buy was expensive. Both. Singular. I'm about singular. You got it. The alcohol that I bought Both. was. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Was expensive. Great. And what about here? Yes. 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 Mm -hmm. Example, please. Alcohol is more demanded now. Yes. Muy bien. Yes. Very good. Do you guys remember that a couple of months ago you couldn't find alcohol anywhere? Yeah. Yes. 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 <laughs> so it, it is more demanded now. Guys, yeah. after like, well, after a class and a half. <clears throat> How do you feel with this topic? And be completely honest. From one to ten, how well do you understand it? Well, I guess it, it, it is understandable, but the thing is that we have to be familiar with the, the, the uses. Mm -hmm. So it is under, it's completely understandable. I could say uh, I understand it eight or nine, but in the context, maybe I get stuck because I could say that I get six. I, I would be in six. Exactly. So that's why we have the next hour. 
Okay. Right? Because you actually got to practice. Now, I think that there are some common bases that we need to double check. Um, but give me a second on that one. Alison, one to 10. Understanding. Maybe five. Okay, Morena. Seven. Understanding, not using it, understanding it. Understanding, eight. Okay, JC. I understanding seven, mm -hmm. seven. All right, five. everybody's just gonna give me a number. Amy? Um, I think a nine, but I need to practice more. Okay, good. Keep it right there. Marcela, real quick. Keep the number ready. I want to know how the group is with this. Marcela? Mm, I think nine. Okay. Ernesto? Nine. Gladys? Nine. Beatriz? Eight. Rox? Eight. Daniel? Eight. Aldo? Eight. Mm, Sara? Eight. Abner? Eight. Pilia? Eight. Guys, remember, keep the camera on. Karen? <laughs> I'm going to put the camera. <laughs> no, but how about Eight. the understanding? <laughs> Eight. Okay, so, um, we're going to have time to practice. But before that, I'm going to share a couple of things with you guys. Are you familiar with countable and uncountable nouns? Yes. 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 A little review, it's not a problem. Okay. <laughs> no, no, and I, and I totally understand with you, sir. That's true. Mm -hmm. I need to. Yep. Because I am, I, am under, I am noticing that we are having a little bit of issues of when something is uncountable, when something is not. So I'm going to do a very quick review. I'm going to share some uh, information I have for my kids. Give me a second. Mm -hmm. I'm going to use this one. Uh, I'm going to use this one, just a second. And I got one more. This one when I'm looking up. Okay, here, here you are, boy. All right. So first of all, <clears throat> I'm gonna I'm um, just go ahead and recap what a noun is. I'm gonna try to do it as this as fast as possible. Okay. So here we have nouns, okay? Here it is. This is gonna be a super quick thing. A noun is a word that names a person, place, animal, thing, or an idea. They can be singular or plural, common or proper, the subject or the object. Nouns are the names of everything. So we got right here. We got Canelo and we got dog. Which is common and which is a proper noun? Canelo is Canelo a proper is noun. Proper noun. Mm -hmm. Dog is dog just is... a noun. Exactly. Now, with the next one, El Tunco Beach and Beach. Which one is common and which one is proper? Tunco Beach is a proper name. Tunco Beach is a noun. That's right. Beach is just a... Now, remember, we are not going to say, I want to go to the Tunco Beach because that's the name, okay? We do not translate El in this particular case. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, we will have to say, I want to go to the Pig Beach, and that's not the way you do it. Now, <laughs> so what are nouns, guys? Let's keep it easy. The names of everything. That's it. Okay, so it's 9 p.m. Let me go ahead and take attendance real quick. The last time. Andrea Maria Mazoquín Rivera. Not present. Andrea del Carmen Martinez Aragón. Not present. Javier Rodrigo Ayala Córdoba. 
Commissioner present. Daniel Edgardo Canizales Ventura. Present. You are. There you are. Gladys Idalia Meléndez Hernández. Present. Thank you. Aldo Sadi Castro Pleites. Present. See you. Eric Arnaldo Celada Ayala. Present. Thank you. Ernesto Antonio Castillo Campos. Present. Oh, I see you. Amy Melissa Rosa Palacios. Present. There you go. David Orlando Nerio. Not present. Marcela Beatriz Espira. Present. Thank you. Guys, it seems that someone has the microphone too close to your clothes or something, but it kind of sounds like we are the beach. Like. Roxana Metilia Rios de Quiñones. Present. See you. Juan Carlos García Laines. Present. See you. Beatriz Adriana Martinez Merino. Present. Thank you. Abner Alexis Martinez Rivas. Present. Thank you, sir. Morena Guadalupe Melara Cruz. Present. Thank you. Alison Isabel Ayala Alfaro. Present. Thank you. Celia Carmina Pen Celia Car I said it in English. Celia Carmina Pineda Ávalos. Present. Thank you. Karen Elin Garcia Benitez. Present. There you are. And Sara Elizabeth Ruiz Ortiz. Present. Okay, thank you. Let's go ahead and go back to what we were doing, guys. So, what are the nouns? The names the of everything. The names of everything. Keep it like that. So, with this one, we're going to talk about car uh, things. Pupusas. A happy pupusa. Car. Watch. Cake. Uh, in quotations, right? Because this is not a real cake. So, <laughs> names of things. Also, days of the week and months. These are nouns. Sunday, Monday, October, August. This is my dad. Let me introduce you my dad, by the way. Oh, um, really? <laughs> everything. These are real pictures. Uh, skateboard, love, which is abstract, friendship, or... I didn't write down anything because it can be, you know, you name it, commitment, suicide, you know, you name it. Oh. So, any questions oh about now? I hope your girlfriend is not listening. That. She's always uh -huh. listening. She's always listening. She knows. Okay. So, any questions with nouns, guys? Are we clear? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Very good. Uh, let me see, countable and countable, how to make, okay. So let's go with countable and uncountable nouns. This is a quick review. I'm trying to be as fast as I can. Here it is. So we go, we have countable and uncountable nouns. Keep it in mind, this is very important. Countable nouns. These are the ones that you can add a number before the noun, like for example, this is a delicious hamburger. These are two delicious hamburgers. You can add a noun, add a number. You always have to pay attention to the verb subject agreement that if you have these are, this is, this relation is very important. And we can use a and an for singular nouns. This can be concrete. So say with me, please. Laptop. Laptop. Laptops. Laptops. Boxes. Boxes. Umbrella. 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 Uh, umbrellas. 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 What do you think is the meaning of a concrete noun? Uh, why do you think it's concrete? Can you touch a laptop? Something that, yeah. Something that you can touch. Mm -hmm. That's right. Oh, then, get in your hands. Or you can get in your hands. Now, how do you say something that is actually that fits in your hand? Hand. Handheld. Handheld. That's right. Hand now we don't countable nouns, guys. We cannot add a number before them, so we cannot say two monies, five monies. We normally use is instead of are. Mm -hmm. Normally. And we can use some instead of a and an, but that's another topic. So we have abstract ideas. We have emotions, <laughs> ideas, 
for example, music, music is an idea. Like to me, heavy metal, dead metal is music. To some is just noise. To some of you, reggaeton is music. To me, it's not. So this is an idea, it's something abstract. Me either. Uh -huh. So it's something abstract. Then we go with liquids and gases. So say with me, please, beer. 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 Water. 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 Coffee. 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 Fog. 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 Fart. 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 Mm -hmm. So all of these are liquids and gases. Now, um, recommendation that I give you, the reason why you see images is because I do not recommend you to translate whenever possible. Okay, but that's, like I said, another topic. Made of the smaller parts. This is actually uncountable. Sand. 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 Sugar. 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 Beans. 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 Traffic. 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 Now, you can count beans, guys. Hey, look, I have one bean. I have two beans. Mm -hmm. But you don't go to the lady that sells food and says, I just want five beans today, right? Mm -hmm. It is not common, so don't use it. Okay. We also have materials, which are uncountable. Plastic. 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 Glass. 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 Steel. 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 Wood. 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 Ice. 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 And we actually have some food that is not final. Bacon. 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 Meat. 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 Beans. I oh, know bread. 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 Eggs. 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 Strawberries. Chicken. Strawberries. 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 Can we count? Can we count eggs? I think so. Yes. X. Yes. Okay. If they're not cooked. Aha, uh -huh. if they're not cooked. Because, hey, how many eggs do you see here? I don't know. Like two, maybe. <laughs> In the English, are yes, three and a half. Mm, let me <laughs> guess. I think one that's is three. Exactly. Three and a half. Three and a half. That's like a new show. Two and a half to three and a half. So. You. And you can count the strawberries either? Exactly. But let me ask you, how do you buy strawberries? Um, by pounds. 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 By pounds. pounds. Or by dollars, right? That's very common now. Mm -hmm. Deme dollar de fresa. Ahí está. Two dollars of strawberries. <laughs> now, so yes, you can count them, but you normally don't. That's the thing. Now, can we count this type of bread? Yes, yeah. but yes, but what's the difference? That's exactly what's coming next. Okay, so hold your horses. So, guys, do you have any questions so far about Anka? Oh, I forgot the last slide. I haven't used this in a while. You got to be careful with countable and uncountable nouns because what is countable in Spanish, it may not be countable in English. Okay. Like, for example, the news. The news is actually like that all the time. You cannot say, I have two news for you. Now, I have some news. So, guys, the news, siempre lo tienen que decir así, no se pueden contar. En español sí, en inglés no. Also, advice. Te voy a dar dos consejos. El primero, el segundo. In, in, in English, it's not like that. I'm going to give you some advice. That's it. Okay? And also money. That you cannot count money. You can count currencies, but not money. So, guys, what is a noun? The name of something. The name of everything. The name of everything. What kind of nouns do we have? Countable. Concrete. Common and proper. Uh -huh. Common, proper. And, but the biggest division is countable and uncountable. So remember, some food is uncountable, materials, uh, something made of the smaller parts, liquids and gases, and abstract ideas. Okay? Any questions with uncountable nouns? Any doubts that you might have? No. 
You okay. can say a new a new and an advice. You can say that. I'm gonna give you an advice. Yes. Te voy a dar algunos consejos. I'm gonna give you some advice. But you can never say I'm gonna give you two advices. Eso no existe. <laughs> two advices. That's right. And the last one, so we can finish with this thing. I'm trying to go as fast as possible. Here it is. Give me a second. This is the um, how to make countable nouns uncountable. All right, so this is how you can make countable uncountable nouns countable. And here is the context. And this is very important for you to know if you have to use, oopsie, for you to know if you have to use um, the, and, etc. Okay. Now, a loaf of bread. So all of the ones that you're going to see here are uncountable, and I am telling you how you can make them countable. Okay? A loaf of bread. What do you think is the meaning of a loaf of bread? Like a slice. Like a slice. <laughs> slice. But like a, part, a part of the bread. The whole bread. The whole piece. Mm. Mm -hmm. So oh. this, that is complete. Now, okay. you can make it countable by cutting slices. Okay, so four slices of bread. I don't know if I have it in this presentation. I'm not sure, guys, but how do you say bollo de pan? Bollo de pan. Bollito. Uh, chicken bread. Mm -mm. No, I'm kidding. I don't know. No. Um, Chinese, I think it's bun. Bon. Bon. Mm -hmm. um, also, girls, whenever you, you whenever you uh, comb your hair or you have some style, a bun. So that's okay. a bun. Okay. Now, okay. slices, you can have pizza, slices of cheese, slices of ham. What else can you count in slices, guys? Cake. A slice of cake. A sl slices of mango. Meat. Tomato. What? Which one? Meat. Meat. Almost there. Almost. We're going to get there. Meat is not in the slices. It has something in particular. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, then we go yeah, to... Ham. Ham, ham? Mm -hmm. bacon, right here. cheese, bacon, bacon. bacon. It fits here. Bacon. And you also have cheese. 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 Pounds. Right? You have pounds. Mm -hmm. For example, beans. Th these are delicious. I love them. So you got pounds. You got kilos. Cans or bowls. So se puede contar en libra, en kilo, en latas. Right? And bowls, bowls is, is, is a little thing, you know, brown. With meat, you can count, you can make it countable with tray. Mm -hmm. Or steaks. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's right. Steaks. What do you mean a tray? When, whenever you go you to see. the supermarket, you normally buy uh, a, a tray, tray. With, with different steaks mm -hmm. inside. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, guys, I'm, I'm not allowed to, to send this to you. I cannot send any type of material. You can actually look, look for my YouTube channel. I haven't been using it or uploading anything because I haven't had time for the past two months. But uh, this video is right there and some other basic videos under my name. I'm not asking you to subscribe. It's just, if you just want to sneak, uh, just go ahead and watch it. You know, you know my style. So, um, chocolate, a chocolate bar, or a piece of chocolate. And as you can see, you have. Mm -hmm. A piece of chocolate. Hey, can you give me a piece of chocolate? No, it's mine. 
Then Too we much have... sugar is bad. Chair. Yeah, yeah. Look, look at, <laughs> That's true, but look at so... my cheeks. There's a lot of sugar right here. Now, also units of measure, guys. Um, this is black pepper. You cannot count black pepper, but you can a pinch, a pinch of salt, a pinch of, of pepper, kilograms, spoons, whenever you're cooking, you can add two spoons of sugar to cebada, I don't know. <laughs> And ounces. An ounce can be liquid or or uh, solid. Also, we have uh, this. Oh, you can great. have cans of spray, spray a tank uncount. of oxygen. Mm -hmm. All of these are uncountable nouns, guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can also count tooth toothpaste with tubes or sunscreen with tubes. So this is another unit of measure. Tubes, cans, time. Also, a jar of Nutella, a jar of peanut butter, a jar of uh, jelly. You can also, also count a bag of cereal or a box of cereal. Are we good so far? Yes. Yes. And yes. yeah, this is the last one. Yes. Also, paper. You can count it like two sheets of paper. <coughs> oh, this is very important in our lives, guys. A toilet paper roll. Right? In Spanish, we just say, pasame papel higiénico. But in English, you're going to say, hey, can, can you hand me a toilet paper roll? Then you have a bunch of grapes. A bunch is um, <clears throat> manojo or racimo. Or, or racimo. Mm -hmm. You can have a bunch of grapes. And again, can you count grapes individually? Yes. 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 Do you normally count grapes? No. no. Only, no. When, only when you steal them at the supermarket, don't you? <laughs> a bunch of flowers too, you know. And last but not least, a glass of beer. You can count liquids like this. Six bottles of beers, right? A liter, if you really like it, or a gallon if you really want to get wasted. So these are ways of you counting liquids. Any question with these units of measure, guys? No, I guess that no. I don't know if you're even still awake, but you are. <laughs> yeah. We are still awake. Oh, good to know. Good to know. <laughs> <laughs> so now that we have gone through all of these things, do you have a better understanding of uh, countable and uncountable nouns? Yes, better. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Okay. Very good. So what I wanted to do right now, guys, is um for you to. Um, we're going to make teams, okay? And in these teams, you're going to create and give some nouns to other groups. You're going to give them, I'm going to write it down here. You're going to give them two countable nouns. Two uncountable nouns. Two countable nouns. Give me a second. I'm writing it down. Okay, guys, so this is what you're going to create um, in order for you to give it to your to other teams. You're going to be give, uh, thinking of two singular countable nouns, two plural countable nouns, and two uncountable nouns, all right? 
what you're going to do is make up this or come up with these nouns and you're going to give it to other teams and those teams are going to create examples using the chart that i have given to you before how give me a noun uh, somebody give me a noun i'm going to repeat the example sure bottles bottles all right so let's say that bottles it's part of my it's part of my um, exercises uh oh I think I closed it and you're gonna be using the chart below does it fit here no it doesn't does it fit here yes it does let's create an example does it fit here no it doesn't does it fit here yes it does let's create an example with each of the six um, nouns that you're gonna get. Is that clear? Yeah. Yeah. No, I'm seeing Beatriz saying no. Come on, guys. If you don't really understand, go ahead and say it. Si me dan un noun, voy a agarrar el cuadro comparativo. Veamos, lo puedo ocupar aquí, no porque no es singular. Y aquí, ah, sí, porque es plural. Creo el ejemplo. Y aquí, no, en este cuadrante tampoco. Y aquí. Ah, aquí sí, porque es uncountable, creo el ejemplo. Van a hacer eso con los seis nouns que sus otros compañeros van a crear. So right now is the time for you to come up with the nouns. Make sure that you come up with some difficult nouns, right? For the other team not to have it so easy. And then I'm going to assign them to you. Go ahead and accept the invite and go and identify the nouns. Go. Créanme los seis nouns, porfa. Tienen tres minutos aproximadamente. You have three minutes. Hey, Roxana, did you get the invite? Let me double check the group. Is key, 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 the llave, abrir, open, key. Okay. Now, two plural countable noun. Mm. Bananas. A bunch of bananas. And just the plural, just the noun. I'm sorry, no, no, not yeah, just, no. Yo, uh, but, uh, how do you say para que se note que es el plural? <laughs> how do you say? So, so you can tell. So you can tell that is plural. That is plural. 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 Like plural. 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 Mm -hmm. plural. That's right. All right. How many do we have right now? Uh, three in this moment and okay go ahead go ahead continue hey guys how are you doing how many do we have four all right great remember don't make it easy so people can suffer i mean practice a lot okay so we are going to change them because <laughs> they are yeah. easy okay <gasps> come on rocket make somebody else's life interesting bye okay Hey, how are you doing, guys? Whoa, alligator. I like it, alligator. You like to but eat? In plural, alligator. Yeah. How many do you have, guys? Uh, three. Uh, three. Right. Part three. Remember, don't make it so easy. Mm. Google okay. Translate. Hmm. <laughs> Google Translate. <laughs> Remember, that's not always your best friend. How many do you have so far? Six. Uh, yes, yes. 
So you finished I have already? The six. Yes, I yeah, have the six. I finished, I think. Uh -huh. Okay, let me see what you got. What do you we have? Count singular countable nouns are, the first one is book, and the second mm -hmm. one is window. So easy, okay. Really so, easy. <laughs> really easy. You're supposed to make their life interesting, not, not boring. No, I'm kidding. Aha, uh -huh, book, window. <laughs> Uh, cars. Cars, uh-huh. And cats. Cats. Uh-huh. Milk. And, and park, parking. Parking. Oh, ho, ho, ho. that one is interesting. Okay, so um, <clears throat> let me jo just go ahead and collect them and uh, we'll be back to the main room real soon. guys give me what you got please we have for two countable nouns and singular okay. and we have key and ball like um, balloon whoa, 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 whoa. and for two plural countable nouns we have bananas and flowers bananas flowers what else which were the, the first two the first two were key the llave uh huh. And ball, the bola. Okay. And, and what about the uncountable? Uncountable, we have love and happiness. Oh, interesting. Got it. All right, we're almost back. Give me a few seconds. Hey, what's up, guys? Uh -huh. Don't overthink. Give me what you exactly. got, please. We have pencil and table for countable, mm -hmm. glasses and houses for plural countable. Give me a second. And... Give me a second. I'm fast typing, not writing. Pencil <laughs> and table. Uh huh. Glasses and houses. Oh, uh huh. Glasses. Honey and water. Houses. Ooh. Honey and water. Uh, okay. Got it. We'll, we'll be back in a few seconds. Thank you. Okay. Okay. What am I missing? Oh, this group. Did I say that aloud? Contable, we said electricity and what else? Insurance. Insurance, okay. Yeah. All right, guys. So I already got electricity and insurance. What else do you have for singular and plural? Mm, singular, photograph, and suitcase. Oh, ho, 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 photograph and suitcase. Uh huh. And plural? Guys? Alligator. Uh huh. Spray. Which one? Spray. What is that? Spray. 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 We got 20 seconds. I'm, I'm not getting. Spray. Spray. Uh -huh. Yes. But that one is uncountable too. Mm -hmm. Yes. You, you got. You gotta give me uh, a plural. Tiger. Come on, we got nine seconds. Otherwise, we're gonna get disconnected. Go, 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 go. Okay. Five, four, three, two. We spent oh. tiger. What? Alrighty, guys. So we are all back. Um. You know what? You know what? Do you know what is the meaning of backfire? No. Backfire, no. Uh huh. Have you ever been uh, bursting firecrackers and they burst in your hand? Yeah. So that's backfire. Yeah. Where well, something goes wrong, something that you're doing, you want to do something to someone and it backfires you. So, el tiro por la culata. Backfire. Okay. So, I'm not really understanding who gave me what noun. So you can have the same noun you created. I need one representative per group. First representative. I propose Aldo. <laughs> okay, thank you, Eric. You are the representative of your group. So okay. <laughs> write it down, please. <laughs> write it down. Book. Book. And your group too. This is for your group. Book. Window. 
cars, cats, milk, and parking. Parking, okay. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Got it. Very good. Um, next. Next representative for a group. Celia in my group. Thank you, Morena. Why me? So, <laughs> bananas. You are the Bananas. Okay. Flowers. Key, like the one you used to open your house. Ball, the one you played with when you were a child. Pelota. Love. And happiness. Oh, good luck with that. Uh, next volunteer, please, or next representative. Come on, the more Nobody you take, to, the more you take, uh -huh, the more you take, the less time you're going to have to practice. Alison, thank you for raising your pen. Um, write it down. <laughs> Speaking about pen, pencil. You and your group, please. Pencil. Table. Glasses, houses, honey, and water. Good luck with that. And the last group? Hey, don't make me get the chicken out, guys. Come on. Where's the last group? Don't hide. Me, hey, Ernesto. Okay, Neto, we go with photograph, suitcase, alligators, pens, insurance, and electricity. <laughs> okay, so guys, uh, remember, what you're gonna do is uh, the same that we have done. If you want to take a screenshot, just don't send it to the group. Give me a noun, please. A noun that you didn't, okay, so um, cookie. Let me see, can I say cookie here? Uh, cookie is singular, yes, cookie. I give an example with a or an. Singular countable noun. Oh, cookie. Yes, I can do a, I can create an example with cookie here. I created plural uncountable. Nope. Nope. So, si cabe en el cuadrante, dan ejemplo. Okay. Okay. Any questions? Uh, no. Have you taken the screenshot? Yep. All right. See you at 945 to see how your progress is, is going. See you there. Okay. Go back with your groups.
remember the photograph to my mom? No, pero ahí llevaría de. It was a. But I think can be specific or general. Photograph. Um, in general, a photograph is. This photograph. Mm, no. Remember that if it's in the first one, it has to be with A and. Yes. I think there a is a, a photograph. Where? I like the example, but you know, try to keep it as, as complete as you can. There is in the album the photograph. <laughs> there is a photograph. Photograph in the, in the album. album. Okay. Teacher, I have a question. Go ahead. Uh, because this example fits in general singular. Mm -hmm. uh, we have to do only an example in general singular or or also at a specific? No, at a specific. At a specific too, because it fits. Photograph, it okay. is singular. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. Any question, you know, you actually do the, uh, you hit the little thing, ask for help, and I'll be back. Let me check the others. Teacher, mm -hmm. and we have to write it uh, in the chat or no? no? Keep it, keep it right now. Mm -hmm. Okay. Keep, keep it right now. Because if you write down in the chat right now, it is not going to appear in the main one. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Good job, guys. Hello, guys. How are you doing? Not so bad. I think we're fine. All right. Um, for cars, maybe can be um, the cars on my street are um, black. I'm, I, I don't know. Or noisy? The cars on noisy. my street are, are uh, noisy. Like, yes. Okay. The cars on on my street are noisy. Are noisy. Street are noisy. Mm -hmm. So okay, for uncountable noun. Milk. Um, it can be. But the we, milk. we still we still have a one example missing, right? With the uh, cats. Because they suppose they give us cat with uh, as a plural plural cannibal. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's right. Good job, mm -hmm. Eric. Remember that you have okay. to use it in every quadrant it fits. Okay. Continue working as a team. Good job, guys. Okay. Let's work with cats. In every in every one it. Uh -huh. So we have to put like a, <laughs> a Which a one? Wait, 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 wait. Which one fits everywhere? No, no, no. I mean, um, I'm just like realizing that we have to make a sentence for, I mean, if the noun fits in all the quadrants we yes. have to make four sentences but it if it, it, it fits just in two two sentences two sentences four sentences, two sentences. yes yeah. that's right oh, okay. mm -hmm. good luck i have an example with the plural cantable noun cow cats The houses, the houses are, are the biggest of the city. Are, are okay, the houses we saw. The, uh -huh, uh -huh. the houses we saw or we visited. Mm -hmm. Yes. So are the are biggest? The biggest in the city. Okay, in the city. Mm -hmm. 
then honey. Money, money, money. And then honey. No, it's money. Honey. Honey, honey. Mm -hmm. Honey. Like mini oh, Honey. I heard money, <laughs> sorry. No, oh, <laughs> it's honey. Okay, okay, honey. Okay. Honey, honey is delicious. Where else does it fit? Uh, teacher, I, I, we have a, a big question about glasses. I don't know if material or if uh, the the one that we, we use. Oh, you see how that... For example, that... it's a part of glass. A pair. A pair of glasses. But could be uncountable, I need some glasses. Mm, depends, because let me uh -huh, see, that one is glasses. So uh -huh. it cannot be material because material is uncountable. Okay. So it's glass, that's a material. Now with glasses, it is plural. Now, depends, you can have a glass where you drink water, but if you have glasses, that's actually a pair of glasses. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it's singular, right? Exactly. Because it's just a pair. Uh-huh. So it's gonna be a pair of glasses. Those are the ones that you used to see, or mm -hmm. you can use it as glasses, the ones that you used to drink. Mm, give me a second. I'll be right back. I need okay. So, so with honey. Hey, Sarah. Hmm. Oh, she's having issues. Can you hear me, Sarah? Hey, hey, what's up? Can you hear me? No, I can. Okay, no worries. Uh, I guess that you were actually uh, out of the group. I hate my Ethernet. I don't know why, but I hate my Ethernet. I don't know why, but your internet. Uh, yeah. Sorry about that. Ethernet. Mm -hmm. Ethernet. Ether. Ethernet. Normally, well, if I'm not mistaken, I'm, I'm no technician, but Ethernet, I think that is the the one that you connect when you, the Ethernet cord, for example. Oh. Alrighty, uh, let's bring everybody back because it's time to take the last attempt. Don't worry. Take your time. I always do. You at work? Yes. Nice. I would like to work like you. Chilling. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's because the life is it's hard and then you can laugh better. <laughs> that's right. Laugh better is one laugh. of the best medicines. Yes, that's true. All right, people should be back in like two seconds. Hey. Right, guys. Did you hear rock? Yeah. Oh, no, everybody. No, I do. I do. I do. Hey, what's up, guys? I have a very, 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 very wonderful thing to do right now. Is I'm gonna take the last attendance. Um, for the ones <laughs> who don't know, instead for ask. Remember that I normally used to ask just for the people missing, but now it has changed. They have asked for us to mention all the names three times a class. Okay. So let's go ahead and do it quick. Ana Maria Marroquín Rivera, not present. Andrea del Carmen Martínez Aragón, not present. Javier Rodrigo Ayala Córdoba, not present. Daniel Edgardo Canizales Ventura, present teacher. Thank you. Gladys Idalia Meléndez Hernández. Gladys. Sorry, present. Oh, there you are. Aldo Sadi Castro Pleites. Present. Thank you. Eric Arnaldo Celada Ayala. Eric? I'm here. Present. All right, thank you. Ernesto Antonio Castillo Campos. Present. Thank you. Amy Melissa Rosa Palacios. Present. Thank you. David Orlando Nerio. Not present. Marcela Betres Lopez Pira. Present. 
Thank you. Roxana Dometilia Ríos de Quiñones. Present. There you are. <clears throat> Juan Carlos García Laínez. Present. Thank you. Beatriz Adriana Martínez Merino. Present. See you, girl. Abner Alexis Martínez Rivas. Present. Thank you. Morena Guadalupe Melara Cruz. Present. Thank you. Alison Isabel Ayala Alfaro. Alison. Present. Thank you. Cele Carmina Pineda Ábalos. Celia. Celia, por ahí está Celia. Present. Celia, Celia. Celia, Celia. Okay, Celia. Karen Elin García Benítez. Present. Thank you. And last but not least, Sarah Elizabeth Resortis. Present. There you go. Guys, question, did you finish? Yes. No. <laughs> no. No. How many groups are missing? Yeah. All. 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 <laughs> all. All of you. All, all righty, guys. All. So, um... All of us. I'm going to give you until 9.55. Just remember, who's going to stay with me from 10 to 10.10? 10? Think about it. Okay? I, I, I don't want to get disappointed right now, so I might get disappointed in five minutes, but not now. So think about who's going to stay. If you have any questions, and you let me know. See you in five. Sara, who's your group, by the way? Roxana. Roxana, okay. Yes. It's going to be breakout one. All right. There you go. Did you get it? For insurance. Oh, nice. Who's who's chairing the? I guess Me? that is a teacher. Who is chairing? Oh. Ernesto. Ernesto. Oh, yeah. Ernesto, you have in the back a uh, um, a nice paint. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Okay. It's about gold. Yeah, <laughs> I like Very it. Very nice. Yeah. Um, then we have insurance. Yes. Insurance is a good business? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Sure. And uh, the other example, maybe the car insurance uh, doesn't covers the accident. That's great. Okay. The insurance. Okay. Because yeah. we are in pandemic. <laughs> <laughs> yes. How's it going, guys? You finished already? Yes. Yeah, I finished. guess we finished. All right. Very good. Just make sure that there's no mistake. Oh. If you want to keep it perfect. Goodbye. Okay. We'll be back in four. Keep it in English and talk about, I don't know, cold water or something. Just keep it in English. <laughs> no, I was uh, you doing, guys? about the, the, the glasses for your eyes. Uh -huh, me too. I was talking about the glasses. The, because you cannot Teacher. take a glass of water. Um, keep it in glasses, guys. Keep it in glasses, so you don't have to go to a pair of glasses. I need glasses. We said I need to fix. What did you say? This is sorry. I need to fix the glasses that are broken. That I broke. Uh, that that I broke. That I, that I, that I broke. But uh, glasses. Is uh, is singular general. That's the thing, guys, and that's exactly what I want to break because you only got three minutes. If you're gonna use glasses, it's gonna be in singular. It's glasses like the ones that you use to read. If you're gonna use glasses of the ones that you drink, uh, I don't know, a beverage is gonna be in plural. 
So keep it as glasses, the ones you drink. So you don't have that, that confusion. Okay. Glasses, the ones you drink. Is that the only ones you, is that the only one you're missing? Yes. Yep. Yes. Okay. We have like doubts. Okay. Then uh, let's rock it because you got two minutes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Keep it in glasses, the ones you use to drink a beverage. Mm, everybody working. Interesting. How are you doing, guys? Did you finish? Um, no. No. Which, no yet. which one is it missing? Let me help you because you got two minutes or less. We're praying for the best. Where the first that you gave was with bananas. So that's the last one. Is that the only one missing? No. Or yes. Mm. Okay, bananas, singular or plural? It's plural. plural. Countable or uncountable? Countable. uncountable? So look in the chart for plural, countable. Uh, we can use that with bananas? Yes. So yes. You, you're going to use it with a specific in plural, the with plural, and also with uh, no article. Yes. Oh. I don't know. I'm, I'm just going to say it in Spanish to give you an idea. The bananas son altas en potasio. Uh, the children are eating bananas in the garden? Yes. Okay. Excellent. The children are eating them. Mm -hmm. mm. All right. You got 30 seconds to finish, guys. I'll see you in the main room. Mm. Okay. Don't ever think that much. Just. Okay. All right, guys, so people should be starting right now. I need a group that has book, window, cars, cuts, milk, parking. We are the, the ones. Okay. Us. Show me your exercises, please. All of them. All of them, but as fast as you can. Okay. We're going to start with, with I don't have another, but the first example is I'm reading the book you gave me. Nice. The window in my room has been repaired. But what about the other one with book? That's the I'm thing. I'm reading, just I'm reading a book. Okay. Uh, the window in my room has been repaired. Okay. My dad bought a new window. Got it. Um, uh, someone else with plurals, please. Okay. Um, the cars on my street are noisy. Mm-hmm. Um, then we have the cats eating in my room are beautiful. Then we have a question with how many cats do you have? Mm -hmm. And another person can continue. There are, there are a lot of cars on the street. Got it. Yeah. What about milk? Um, the chocolate. Chocolate milk my mom pre prepare is my favorite and I have drunk enough milk. Got it. A good examples. Uh, the chocolate milk my mom prepares. Third person. Yeah, Guys, uh, pay attention to the examples. Um, obviously, you might not be able to copy them, but you can watch this video again. So you can write down what everybody has done and keep more examples. Great. Parking. Parking is full. Uh huh. And the parking lot of Metro Centro was empty during the quarantine. That's right. Excellent. Good job. Um, no mistakes with the thing. So, kudos to you. Great job. Great job. Great job. Great job. Now let's go with bananas, flowers, key, ball, love, happiness. That group. We made only one example for each one. Mm, okay. Give me. Uh, that doesn't sound that didn't with come bananas. Out right. uh -huh, bananas. The children are eating bananas in the garden. 
Ajá. The um, flowers are beautiful. All right. I lost a key yesterday. Mm -hmm. I played football that the ball that you gave me. With with the ball you gave me. With the ball you gave me. Uh-huh. Um love is in the air. <laughs> <laughs> nice song. Mm -hmm. Yes. And happiness is the best feeling. Okay, great. That that's not entirely right, but I'm kidding. Now, good job. Make sure that you finish the other ones. I'm not gonna check them, but you gotta do it. Pencil, table, glasses, houses, honey, water. Go. Let's start with pencil. Examples with pencil. Come on, guys, for today, please. I bought a pencil. Nice. I bought a pencil that I wanted. Nice. Table. I need a table and I need the table that I saw in the catalog. Nice. Glasses to drink. I buy a set of glasses. Okay, yes. And I need to buy more glasses. Nice. Houses? House are safety. Um, mm. The house. Houses are safe. Are, however, houses are safe. Uh huh. And the houses uh, more are more biggest than apartment. Okay, that one needs to be fixed. The houses in, I don't know, La Miramonte. In the neighborhood. Or in the neighborhood are in bigger than in the Escalón, for example. Okay. You got to fix that one. Great. Uh, honey? Honey is delicious. Nice. I bought a jar of honey. Mm, okay. In that one, the, the thing is that we are using a jar. So we are making something uncountable, countable. countable. So it and is a good example. Possible. Yes, but it doesn't really fit in what we are doing. So it is correct, but you are making something uncountable, countable. So that's a different category. So an example, the honey, the honey, Marcela sells is delicious. The or that I bought in the supermarket, correct. Water. Water is so polluted. Unfortunately, mm -hmm. like the example. And? Uh, give me two bottles of water. Yes, yes, but you are still making no. something um, uncountable. You're making it countable. The water, uh, the salguate is polluted. The acid water water, yes, in that case, yes, it's polluted. We're being the acid water water is polluted. I see. And the last one, guys, four graph suitcase, alligator pens, insurance, electricity. There is a photograph in the album. Mm -hmm. The photograph from my graduation is great. Yes. Suitcase. Uh. Mm -hmm. okay, our suitcase was mm -hmm. loose. Okay. And the suitcase that I bought was expensive. Got it. Excellent. Alligators. Alligators are hungry. Uh huh. The alligators from the zoo are sick. Okay. Yes. In that one, alligators are hungry. It, it is like you're tending to make it a little bit, uh, los cocodrilos están hambrientos. How do you know? In order for you to know, those must be particular alligators. Hey, look, the alligators are hungry. So you can say, in general, alligators are always hungry, for example. Great. Thank you. Pens. Sara? Sara? Sara's not here. Someone oh, take your spot. here anymore? Oh. No. Okay. Pens are necessary for writing. Nice. The pens that I have are broken. Yes. Insurance. Okay. 
uh, the car insurance doesn't cover the accident. Nice. Insurance is a good business. Nice. Electricity? Electricity is very important around the planet. Nice. And electricity hey. is bad. Oh, what, what, what? The electricity from Caes is expensive. There you go. Good example. Not talking about that business in particular. All right, guys. So I really hope that you have been able to understand, to put it in practice. And remember, practice makes perfect. Okay? What you have done right here is just opening the door for you to know how to improve. How to... Um, no, that's it. How to improve. So <laughs> thank you very much for your time and dedication. Who's going to stay with me today? Hey, come on. Who's gonna stay with me today? Don't don't let me hang in. Come on. I just have uh, one question. Okay, so let's have that question in ten minutes. Everyone, thank you very much. Get no, but... out of here. I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> bye, Beatriz. Bye, bye, Ernesto. Uh -huh. Bye. Good luck, Eric. Bye. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Eric. So, tell well, me, sir. My, my first question is uh, about the, the email that you said that uh, English Corporative is going to send us, but I was mm -hmm. checking my email and I didn't receive it. So, I don't know if they, they have already sent it. No, they haven't sent it yet because they didn't send it to me. So, okay. I think that they are going to make a whole batch of it. And, uh, but like I said, don't worry because uh, you must receive the email so you can, um, for example, so you can review what's going to happen, but I'm going to ask them what's up. Okay. And uh, another thing, for example, I was checking the exercise on the final exam mm -hmm. and I have some issues with the, let's say it was with the number uh, three because okay. the apostrophe, it, it doesn't work. So um, I don't know if in the example with uh, I forget the example just mm -hmm. yeah get it get it get it there because I am getting it I reported something already about the apostrophes so I just want to make sure if it's the same or not and if it has been fixed <clears throat> yes okay they were the the same that we had on the previous exercise before mm -hmm. on the with the apostrophe. I it was in the part two, I guess. Mm, let me see, part two. Do you have it with you so you can double check it or did you write it down somewhere? No, I didn't. No, all right, don't worry. Let me let me see what what's needed because I reported something, Eric. So I'm trying to find here mm -hmm. if I can go to the platform, just let me check and try to. Yeah, yeah if you could, that, that'll be even better. Just give me a second. I'm gonna do it in my cell phone. All right, let's see. Mm. You wanna go on holiday for the tag question? Yes, I get, yes. Wait. Yeah, I think that's the one I reported already, but apparently they haven't changed it. Just double check, please, because I'm gonna I'm gonna report it again. Okay. Oops. Should I go? Let's see. I did it because <laughs> I don't got worry. Okay, um, yes, the, the, are they the tar, tar questions? Mm -hmm. With the don't you and one he and that's and she. I'm, I'm, as we speak, I'm, I'm reporting it. 
Okay. I have reported it already, um, Eric, so we can make sure we fix it as soon as possible. So, okay, so, so it's you. ready for this, for this week. Very good. And uh, also, let me see my... Your notes. What do you say? My notes. And there's some... the, ex the example that we have today about the carnival and cannibal nows, I have some... Uh, something is uh, everything is uh, clearer than before because oh. I I do understand the the, the uh, definition but when I want I wanted to apply I that was my issue. Mm -hmm. All right, tell me. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah. Let's look and go forward, backward. Was that on what we covered today? It was, I wrote something. I, you said something and I wrote it here, but I, Don't worry, take your time. You still have five minutes. Right here. Or more if you actually needed it. I don't know where, where I did, where I put it. No worries. And was it, I don't know if you remember something, was it about how to make a, a count, uncountable nouns countable? Yes, I guess, but it is referred to, but I, I, I know uh, uncountable nouns, which are they, but my, the issue that I got is when I want to translate the, the plural mm -hmm. in the wait. was it with advice the news money yes for example or or is it is an example for example in the group we were discussing about one example that we have here let's mm -hmm. see for example wait 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 let me see where it is Just give me a second. Take your time. Oh, it is something like this. For example, we were trying to write the example that it, there were a lot of cars on the street. Mm -hmm. So, but we were writing first, there is a lot of cars on the street, but uh, Amy said, no, we have to use R because we're talking about plural. But if we took the, the idea of cars like a bunch of something, we can use is or not. No. For, for example, as a, as a whole group. Uh huh. Yeah, I got your idea. I got your idea. Depends. There. The thing is that normally with cars, you cannot have it like as a whole unit. You always says there are a lot of cars. All right. Are, You're gonna okay. use it with countable nouns. Always mm -hmm. there but are there are there are some. Uh, things or articles that we can use uh, is taking the object as a whole idea. Yes. Now I want to, with there are, is there are and there is, is a little bit of specific. There is, you're going to use it with singular and uncountable. There is okay. traffic. Just, just let me write that. Uh-huh. With singular is, and countable. 
singular with, and cannibal but with their s okay singular and cannibal for example there is a car uh -huh. and there is traffic let me write, write those example there is there is a lot of traffic Pongale. there is traffic okay there is a lot of traffic para que se vea. there is a lot of traffic mm -hmm. and there is a car mm -hmm. exactly so using it there is with singular and uncountable nouns and, and uncountable. okay and with there are you're going to use it for um for countable nouns in plural even countable. though you are using a lot okay there's a lot there, there are a lot of cars a lot of cars mm -hmm. because you are using countable noun you are not using traffic but, yes there are a lot of cars mm -hmm. plural correct okay now it is different the idea you have is different with other words instead of a lot right you can say mm -hmm. there is a lot of people for example yes or there are a lot of people depending if you're talking about there is a lot of people you're talking a whole group like you're saying there is yeah. but you cannot use it with all of the nouns like like particular nouns there is a lot of people but you cannot say there is a lot of bananas there is a lot of flowers because those are countable nouns. Okay. Mm -hmm. And people is actually right in the H. Stay in limbo, people. Uh, sometimes people yeah. is singular, sometimes it's plural. So uh, in that one in particular, there is a lot of people or there are a lot of people if you're making a uh, reference of each and individual people, person. Okay. All right. And uh, there is a rule is there well, a rule you have explained you have explained me about the how, how to use is and are or mm -hmm. the difference of them but there is a specific rule that is said that you have to use is in these cases or are in these cases also the ones i gave you okay. with singular plural singular with and plural but remember eric that here i'm talking i'm talking specifically about there is yes there is and there are the thing is that when you are digging in grammar, you're going to find a lot of things. Yeah, okay. So I better stay right here now, right now. Exactly. <laughs> in, so, order, in order not to get confused. Mm -hmm. Master this one, get used to it, get familiarized with it, and then, then yes. Because I can tell you, instead of using a lot, right? Instead of using a lot that I already gave you the rules, you can use a bunch. A bunch, we a know bunch. that it's a monton, right? Yes. But in that case, you can say, you can, there is a bunch of bananas. Okay. Why? Because bananas is actually counted as one Taking unit, that. like Perfect. manojo. Okay. There is a bunch of flowers. Okay. Eso solo es un racimo. Pero si hay varios racimos, you can say, there are a lot of bunches of bananas. Entonces, el plural lo va a llevar bunch, no lo demás. Mm -hmm. There are two bunches of bananas. There are uh, bunches of flowers. Aha, exactly. The, the plural goes with bunch, not with bananas, because bananas okay. is always going to be in plural. All right. Well, that, that was my, my main idea that I had uh, mm -hmm. tonight. So... Thank you very much for your help. I really appreciate it. And I'm going to give you some rest right now. I know you <laughs> have been very, very tired. I know you too. And, and thank you very much for logging in. Thank you for staying, which was like you wanted, but you didn't. And I actually kind of forced you. <laughs> but, <laughs> no, but thank no, you, for, thank for, you. For, for taking the lead. Have a good okay. one, Eric. I'll Same see you to tomorrow. You. Good night. See you. Good night. Bye. -bye.